Good morning, FDR. It is Wednesday, May 3rd. These are the morning announcements, and I am your principal, Mr. Higgins. We have a birthday today. Daniela in room 13. Happy birthday. Middle school students, or I should say future middle school students, this includes our fifth graders. Please choose your elective or rank your electives. The links, a link was sent out yesterday um, by your teachers and also to your parents and guardians. Spirit Day is this Friday. Wear your FDR clothing or red and black clothing. And thank you for everyone who picked up and dropped off all of their things the last two days. Our last pick up and drop off of the year is next Monday and Tuesday. That's where you're going to be dropping off all of your technology and any other things. I will send out an email. I've already sent out an email, but I will send out another email to remind everybody what to pick up and drop off next week. Um, I always end, or I often end, <coughs> my morning announcements. <coughs> excuse me, by uh, with the words: "Be kind, be gentle, be forgiving, take care, and do your best." Um, I think what's been happening over the last week, these words are even more important than ever. Um, I encourage you students to end parents. Well, I encourage your students, I don't know if you watch this alone students or you're watching this with your parents, but I encourage you to watch this section of the video with your parents. Um, and parents, the email that you received um, there is a link at the bottom of the email um, within those phrases, be kind, be gentle, be forgiving, that um, you could click on so you can continue um, what these words mean at home. And specifically what I'm talking about is all of the racial unrest that's been happening in the country over the last week. Um, I'm not going to go into detail here. But um, all of your teachers have been um, given resources to talk about this and to create lessons on this. I know there's not much time left, um, and I know every classroom is different. And so I don't know. Um, I know some teachers will um, be talking about this with their students, but others may not just because the various reasons. Um, but I encourage students and parents and family members to have a discussion about what is happening. Um, I know just from being working with children for a long time, whether you're a five-year-old kindergartner or a 14-year-old eighth grader or somewhere in between, um, probably every single one of you um, is at least somewhat aware of what's been happening in our country. And it brings up a lot of fear and anxiety and questions. Um, and so I think it's important to talk about it honestly. Um, but since this is not really, I can't really have a conversation with you, I can't see you, I don't want to start that conversation. Um, I will allow our teachers to do that through Zooms, or um, and I encourage um, family members at home to have those conversations with our students. Um, so when I say be kind, I mean be kind to everybody. People that you love, people that you like, and people that you don't like or maybe even are very angry at. Be gentle. The reason we have to be gentle is because we're not all the same. We're all different, and sometimes those differences cause a lot of problems. And I think when we're gentle with other people, with everyone that we encounter, we can bridge those differences and overcome them. Or maybe not overcome them, but just learn to learn more about the other person. And then be forgiving. That's a hard one, especially during this time when we're angry. 
but I think when we are able to forgive, we're able to release that anger from us and be a better person. So as always, take care and do your best.